Hello guys and welcome to the 20th video in my how to build a 4-bit computer series inside Minecraft. In this video I will be completing the user input which is almost done and hopefully doing a bit of error checking like looking around for bugs although I might do that off camera and uh, do the fixes in a different video. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, all we need to do now is um, probably put a few signs up to say what the uh, different commands are in ROM in the program memory and also uh, link up this uh, clock indicator so you can see every time the clock cycles. Um, so I'll start off with this. It's a fairly, uh, fairly easy task. just means that I uh, have to turn on the clock. Uh, where is... There we go. So now the clock's on. And every time this cycles we want it to uh, uh, go and display uh, on the uh, on the redstone torch up there. So to do this I'm just going to place a block and hopefully this will work. Yep, I'll link that up to a monostable circuit. I think that should work. Um, how to do this? Just something like that so you can get the power out and we could just wire that round. Actually I probably could just take it, oh yeah, I'm being a bit dumb. I can just take it out of here. I think that should work. Um, just you can bust it parallel to these as long as they don't interfere should be okay um, yeah summit a bit like this so if I'm going a bit fast I'm a bit pushed for time um, just find where you put your torch and then which is that block there and then have like that linking into it and now that bus is connected, we can just wire it up. Ooh, I forgot my uh, monostable circuit. I'll just... Where this ends, I'll add one. Does it end here? Yeah. Alright. Um, how do you build one of these? Uh, I remember now. I build it this way. I have a six stick pulse, I think. I think that's right. Let's check if that works or not. There you go. Got a nice sharp pulse every time it uh, comes out. So yeah, you build a. Uh, monster will circle like this with uh, two blocks then delay in the middle um, of what you want and then repeat a uh, touch coming up here linking up to block and then that like so we can then just add the final repeater here and wasn't the final oh is it a final repeater Yep. Oh no, that needs to be inverted. So uh, somewhere along here, just add a add a torch like this to invert the output. Now it blinks for 0 0.6 seconds every time the clock cycle. Voila, and if we turn it off, it'll probably blink once more. Oh, no, it didn't. Instant, and the clock indicator's off. So that's your way of telling if the, uh, if the computer's actually running. Quite a nifty thing to do. And I think that's all of our controls are done. Mm hmm, yes it is. 
So the main construction, in fact all of the construction, I think, of the computer is now finished. Um, I think... So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure how to do this, but I think I will gonna, going to have a... Um, like the colour coding system, like along the top, with signs saying um, what each thing like links to. I think that will be easy way of doing it. And I think I might label these as well. Oh no, they're already labelled up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a colour coding system up here. So what does it start with? Blue, red, purple, yellow. Oh, is it light blue or is it cyan? Light blue, I think. Just bear with me a second. So, light blue, red, purple, magenta, um, yellow, green, orange, and then red at the end. Oh, I used red twice. Oh well. Like this. So I think uh, I think I'll just have it up here. Or shall I have it on here? Yeah, I'll have it on here. So then, blue. Our first command for blue is send ALU output into the input registers. So uh, I'll just put ALU out. Um, arrow sign input registers yeah alu out put arrow sign input registers okay the next one is red and what command is that RAM output and input registers. Uh, so, so RAM. Well, it's really not RAM. It's more the internal registers, which you can use like general purpose registers. I guess that's what you'd call them in technical terms. But it is a form of RAM, I guess. So RAM output to input registers. Now, do we have this to save to A input? Right, goes right to B, then right to A. I need to make sure I do these in order so people know what's going on. Uh, I'll do like a one. Right to B, I uh. I ask answer input registers. And two right to A. Oh, yeah. And the one and two correspond to the different uh the different wires here. So the first one is like so this one's one and this one's two. Um and now we have a shitload of <laughs> um actual commands which we can perform. I'm undecided how I'm going to do this to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm probably going to need three blocks to fit all the commands on. Yeah, I'm going to. So I'll have three, uh, three commands, and it. How do the commands go? Super speed. Um. Yeah, it goes. Zero B, zero A. Not B, not A. Zero B, zero A. Not B, not A. So one. Zero B, two. Zero A, three. Not B, 
for not a. Okay. Next for. And it is. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Where are these labelled? Oh, that's a pain. Have I destroyed the labelling system? <sighs> Why? Oh, where did I do that? Right, these are all labelled. But these aren't. Damn, that's annoying. Alright, I think we're going to have to leave these three until I figure out which one's which. I guess I could do it quickly now. God, it's been so long since I built this. This is so crap compared to the one I can build at the moment. Oh well. Right, so this is R coming through here. These two join together from the R gate. So the one that controls that, so that is R. This one here is R. Okay. And now I think we just need XR and AND. Oh no, XR is there. AD is there. Alright, so it's AND. AND and... Oh, that's seeing on. Turn the carrying on. And that means that that one must be and. Oh. Oh, yeah, that one refers. Yeah, on there. So that one is and, I think. If someone uh, can test this for me, because I can't really be bothered. And uh, if it's wrong, please drop a comment. So yeah, um, now that we've got these sorted out, so it goes and C in or XR. And C in XR. Oh, and C in or XR. And C in on um, or And our last three commands, I think, if there are 11, which I think it can't be before. Hmm, I think it's probably going to be add uh, shift right and not out. Add shift right and not out, indeed. So, yeah, that's uh, those ones done. Uh, 9 is add, 10 is shift right, right, oh no that's 9, shift right, and 11 is not output. Um, so now we've got those, I think it's green next, followed by an orange. Oh, and there's one solitary red. Damn it. Oh, no, it's just a RAM addressing system, isn't it? I, I can just have these as, like, one. So one green. For Is green writing or is green reading? Uh, orange is writing, green is reading. Uh, so it goes reading, writing, and then... So green is reading, orange is writing, and the red one at the end. Oh, is that the update screen? Yeah. So, reading, writing, screen. Reading, writing, screen. Um, the RAM read address ram write address and finally update screen and voila that works absolutely perfectly so we've got our f that's like our documentation for the whole computer condensed into nine blocks fabulous <laughs> Um, I think that's it. I really cannot think of much to do.
Um, so I'll do a bit of testing. I'll write the Fibonacci program to run on this. Hopefully display it on the screen. Um, if you have enjoyed this video and enjoyed this series, any subscriptions, comments and likes would be much appreciated. Uh, keep a look out for a new series. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe a Let's Play. But they're a bit old now. I'm thinking maybe doing some different games. Uh, so yeah, once again, if you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. See you guys.